What's the stupidest thing you ever seen a religious person call satanic? The same teacher who taught abstinence only sex ed class took away my deck of magic cards because they were satanic. How am I supposed to keep my virginity without my magic cards? My wife's mother pulled her out of the Care Bears movie when she was a kid because the bears were casting satanic spells out of their stomachs. My wife still holds a grudge. Being left-handed. A church I visited wouldn't let me play music because of it. A toothache. The devil is trying to enter my body. Was the quote. Initially I thought they were making a weird joke. They were serious. I knew this Christian lady that refused to eat deviled eggs. Edit. My wife said her cousins weren't allowed to eat candy on Halloween when they were kids because their mom didn't want to celebrate the devil's birthday. Without a shred of sarcasm I once heard an evangelical describe hot Cheetos as a product of the devil. For a while I wasn't allowed to use the word weird because it was associated with witchcraft. Apparently because Shakespeare wrote about the witches of weird, edited to say. Thanks to those of you who are knowledgeable about Shakespeare and are able to explain how ridiculous of a claim this was. It's helpful to hear as an adult. But eight-year-old me didn't have a leg to stand on at the time. I was just trying not to burn in hell for all eternity cold sweat smile. Godzilla, because God's name shouldn't be used like that. Told his kids there was a spelling error and it's actually called Godzilla. Back in the 70s it was a lot of stupid. Barcodes. The little symbol on Procter and Gamble products. Yoga and or meditation. Lots of different music by different artists. My small town Christian private school had a particular teacher who was absolutely dying mad about his students' fondness for Michael Jackson, ACDC, and other bands of the time. The funniest one of all was dancing. The joke around my, conservative Christian, college in the 80s was that sex was outlawed because it could lead to dancing. For some bizarre reason the administration thought dancing was totally evil. I remember a lady saying she refused to eat mushrooms, they were satanic because they grew in the dark. The peace symbol. My HS biology teacher saw me wearing one and explained the peace symbol symbol. It's a inverted cross. The sides have been bent down and away from God. My mom called my art satanic because I drew dragons and wolves with horns when I was a kid. Movie theaters. My dad couldn't go to movie theaters as a kid, because his parents are so obsessively religious. DND, but strangely enough not the Lord of the Rings. An energy drink. Edit. Yes I was talking about monster. Pokemon. Edit. JFC I didn't expect this get over 5k updates I was just scrolling on the toilet. Vegetarianism. Frank Zappa's album, Jazz from Hell, was required to have an explicit lyrics sticker. It is instrumental. The sound of an electric guitar. Mental gymnastics. My dad wouldn't let me watch anything that had magic or monsters because he thought it would let demons into the house. This included Power Rangers, Ben 10, H20 Just Add Water, Harry Potter, Scooby-Doo and more. The most ridiculous one was not letting me watch Jesse on Disney Channel. This had no magic or monsters but he thought that the pet lizard one of the characters had represented the snake that deceived Eve into eating the apple. Harry Potter. The Lord of the Rings works and the Chronicles of Narnia. Both Tolkien and Lewis were devout Christians. Edit. Wow, I didn't realize this would blow up like it did. Women speaking or asking questions in church. 14-year-old me with a CD player. Sporks. I once heard someone say, the spork is the devil's utensil, because it is the amalgamation of the masculine fork and the feminine spoon and is trying to blur gender lines in society. Once I had a classmate and she had a cartilage piercing, we had an assembly and this group of people people with puppets came and told the story of Easter. At the end we were walking out and one of the people from the group walked over to my classmate and said, what is that thing on your ear? She said it's a cartilage piercing and the person from the group walked over to where the group was packing their stuff and said, she has definitely got to have worshipped the devil. That disgusting ear piercing shush has got. Video games. The 80s country music song, Elvira, by the Oak Ridge Boys. They were convinced they were singing, Hell Fire Up, instead of, Elvira. When I was young around 5-7 years old my mom threw away a hobgoblin toy because Radio Vision Christiana said to rid your home of satanic images. I remember it because it was the first time my mom lied to me because she told me she didn't know what happened to it. Fucking Hello Kitty. Some religious fucktards from my sister-in-law's family took away all the Hello Kitty toys from my niece and burnt them because. Sigh. There is a demon in the Sumerian mythology who, just like the famous cartoon cat, has no mouth, so Hello Kitty is obviously demonic. The Little Mermaid. Yoga. Atheism. 
There is literally a book called The Enticing Sin of Empathy. How Satan Corrupts Through Compassion. So, are, uh, empathy and compassion, the two most important things Jesus taught. Tampons. I'm not joking or lying. When I was a kid, early 90s, there was a God botherer, protesting outside a superdrug, UK pharmacy chain, screaming about the Satanism of feminine hygiene products corrupting women into sin. This God botherer was a woman. Man facepalming rolling on the floor laughing. Oh man. A paperback copy of Frankenstein's monster with an illustration of the monster on the front. The experience of feeling desire for black men. Pokemon. Yoga. Source. Grew up in a fundamentalist Christian community rampant with ignorance and bigotry of all kinds. Star Trek. Mostly, I think, because my racist uncle couldn't stomach a black woman and an Asian dude being functional members of a spaceship crew. My old ass anti-Semitic neighbor who kept shouting that the synagogue down the block was Satan's temple. Frickin' hell. Professional basketball. My very religious aunt once referred to Hooters as Satan's snack shop. Her husband was a frequent visitor and she found the receipts in his truck lol. A friend's wife once got into some religious thing where anything of beauty was satanic. Flowers, scenery, anything beautiful. Satan was luring you with its beauty. Catholicism. Evangelicals are weird. I wanted to learn to play the violin as a child but was told I couldn't because it was the devil's instrument. I was raised as a JW. How much time you got? My husband's aunt found God during quarantine and fell down the QAnon rabbit hole and on top of all the other crazy things she now believes she decided lawn gnomes are satanic. I have no words. We wrapped all her Christmas presents in gnome wrapping paper. An injured bat. The person I knew smashed the poor thing to death because it was satanic. Fucking awful. Masters of the universe. It was back in the 80s. My crazy, over-the-top, religious aunt said, it's satanic. There is only one master of the universe and it's God. Six Yomi rolled my eyes so hard, I'm sure you could hear the noise it made. A microscope. An acquaintance of mine called a microscope a gift from the devil, because it makes people question the divine plan. I've seen evangelicals call Mormons satanic. A few called the Pope the Antichrist. Hard rock. My idiot aunt thought that ACDC stood for Antichrist, devil child. Fuck an idiot. She is also the most obviously in the closet person I've ever met in my life. I have a gaydar that barely functions, but she's super duper mega ultra gay. Perhaps she'd have had a happier life if she'd spent less time poring over balls to the wall, like it was a satanic verse and kissed a girl instead. 